Hello there. Let's take a look at how to calculate percentages against given target. For example, if you have been given a target of say 5000 and you have made a sales of around 4000, how much percentage did you achieve? Or if you have gone ahead and exceeded that percentage, instead of making 5000, you have made a sales of say 5500. So what is the percentage that you have exceeded? To get to know that, we can do simple math. Let me show you how. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to make a copy of this workbook. Here I have four sheets today. The first two sheets that is seat one and seat two is where I will demonstrate. And do it one and do it two is for you to practice. So let's get into the seat one sheet. Here I know what my target is. For example, I am aware that my sales target is say 5000 and I want to know what is the percentage of the sales done against that given target. There are two ways to get this done. First is simple. I'll say this is equals to this divided by 5000 and convert this into percentage. I can go into the home tab here and then select the percent control here. Done. Increase the decimal places by two and drag this down. That was quick. This is one way of doing it. There is another way of getting it done using the percent off function. Here we are aware what is the percent target and we did that. Now let's try that with the function in C2 sheet. Here I have my sales figure. I have my target. These are the random targets. This is not a fixed target. Based on maybe the tenure or maybe other metrics, the sales targets have been set for these set of employees. And to find out what is the percentage of target they have achieved, we can go ahead and try do the similar math. That is divide this number by this and change the format to percentages. Or we can try percent of function. That's the function. And in the data subset, I will pass the first value. And in data all, I will just click this single value and close the bracket. Now, if I press enter, I will get that number which needs to be formatted in percentages that we can do from the person style control that is under the home tab. And let me add two decimal places that is by using this control which says increase decimal, which is again under the home tab. And I'll drag this down. So that was a quick way of finding out the percentages against given target. You can try any of these methods. You can directly divide them like we did in the seat one sheet here. Or you can go ahead and try that with the percent off function. Whichever is comfortable for you. Give it a try. I request you to go ahead in the do it sheet. Give it a try right now. Try and practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. Until then, take care. Goodbye.